Sending events to Algolia has many benefits. It unlocks advanced features, including the AI-powered ones, and it gives you access to valuable analytics insights. That's why, if you want to make the most of what Algolia has to offer, we strongly recommend sending insights events to Algolia. In this video, we will see how to send click and conversion events with the instant search library in vanilla JavaScript. You need instant search version 4.8.3 or later to follow the explanations. If you have an older version, check out the upgrade guides in the documentation. Before we start coding, let's have a quick look at our existing project. It's a fictional e-commerce store powered by instant search. We can search for products, apply filters, and click on a result to see a minimal product detail page. Everything is working, but currently no events are being sent to Algolia. This project has four main files. Index.html to display the search results page. Index.js to add four instant search widgets, search box, refinement list, hits, and pagination. Product.html to display information about a single product. And product.js that does three things. Get the object ID from the URL. Send a search request to Algolia with that object ID. But in a real application, this is likely to come from your own database. And display the product details we just retrieved. Now, let's see how to send events to Algolia. We will start by sending a click event when we select a product from the search results. First, we need to load the Search Insights library. For that, we copy this snippet from the documentation and paste it in the index.html file just before the closing head tag. The next step is to connect the Search Insights library to the Instant Search library using a middleware. This will simplify our code going forward and automatically send some default events to Algolia. In the index.js file, we create and use the Insights middleware like this. Then, we recommend setting a user token with the AA function. The token should uniquely identify each user, but here we will write a hard-coded string as an example. Now that we've finished our setup, let's actually send the click event to Algolia. In the hits template, we find the product link. And here, we add a call to the bind event function with three parameters. The type of event, it's click. The product linked to the event, it's the hit object. And the name of the event, for example, search result clicked. And that's it. To test that our code is working, we can download the Insights Validator Chrome extension. Once installed, it counts the number of events sent to Algolia. And right now, it shows zero events. But if we click on a product, we get one event. So it works. Next, let's look at how to send a conversion event to Algolia. What is a conversion is completely up to us. In this example, we will trigger the conversion event when we click on the Add to Cart button. But since we don't have instant search on the product page, we won't be able to use the Insights middleware. So things will be a little different this time. First, we import the Search Insights library in the product.html file, just like we did before in the index.html file. Then, we need to connect the Insights library to our Algolia application. This was previously done automatically by the middleware, but now we need to manually set it up. So we call the AA function with our app ID and API key. Now the Insights library is set up so we can move to the product.js file. Here, we retrieve the Add to Cart button and listen to click events on it. In this callback, we send the conversion event to Algolia with the AA function. It takes two parameters. The action we want to perform, in this case it's converted object IDs after search, and an object with information about the event. It needs the name of the index, which we stored in a variable, the name of the event, for example, product added to cart, the user token, it's the same string we used earlier, the object ID that was clicked, it's stored in the object ID variable, and the query ID that triggered this conversion event. However, we don't have access to the query ID here. To solve that, we will pass the value from the search page 
to the product page using the URL. So in the index file, we edit the product URL to include the query ID. Then we go back to the product file to retrieve the query ID like this. Now let's open the browser and click on the add to cart button. We can see in the insights validator that we have one conversion event. And we are done. With just a few lines of code, we managed to send click and conversion events to Algolia. This gives us access to Algolia's advanced features and valuable analytics data. Next step, check that the events are received by Algolia using the dashboard.